Hello coach, welcome to the post-match conference. We have a couple of questions from media. The first one is from Kelnau. Bangalore FC looked second best in the first half. What did you tell your team in the first half break? Not agree, that we look second best in the first half. I think that we make a very serious game. Uh, we were having uh, quite a good uh, chances eh, to score and we were unfortunately in, in that uh, uh, set piece. You know that we are a team that we take a lot of risk in set pieces. Eh? Sometimes we go with seven players, sometimes we go with eight players. So uh, I can afford that, I can afford it. It was my mistake as a coach, but uh, it's my instructions. Eh? And at the end of the story, eh, you see how how dangerous we are in set pieces. So for me, it's a good balance. Uh, sometimes you concede like today. You are not happy when you concede like today, but uh, I'm happy because the, the the boys keep trying and we we again make a lot of uh, good options in attack. So the, the the talking in the in the half time was more about to to be confident. Eh? Uh, once we got the one one, then we are again in the game in the game. So it's not about to to blame ourselves about the mistake in the goal, it's about to build up from that score. Eh? It was like 0-0, I mean, it was to start the game again, 1-1. One, one. So uh, I think that uh, they have very clear that they have to, to work as a unit and to be strong uh, in the mentality. And you saw, eh? we even missed a penalty and the team was keeping working, keeping face up and keeping uh, trying to get the three points. So I'm happy with the attitude of the players. Coach, so far this season you were looking to score mainly from set pieces and it looked like the club have finally figured out way to prevent that. How effective would this tactic be in a long term? No, you know, it's uh, we have a lot of variation and it's what, what we try. So I, I hope that we are going to keep surprising teams eh, with different routines. So it was, as I told you, it was my fault, it was a misunderstanding, but uh, I think that another day it can work. So no problem with that. Coach, do you think the team needs to work on keeping clean sheet, having considered four in the last two games? No, no, no. We want to get the three points, so it's not a question of clean sheet or not. Uh, we have new players, eh? they have to get used to the system that we are playing, and it's normal. It takes some time, but I think that the progression is, is becoming really good. Coach, next question is from Bartolipi. Do you think the penalty miss was a blessing in disguise as you have scored two goals after that? No, you know, uh, Sunil is very proud of himself, and for sure he he takes it like a like a way to to motivate and to go for a goal. So that's good. That's a sports competitive reaction, and that's good. I I, I never talk about penalties. I don't celebrate when we get a penalty for us because you have to you have to shoot it. Eh? It's not a goal. It's just a penalty. And and Sunil just was trying his best, eh? just to try to confuse the goalkeeper because we know Albino for a long time now, eh? he was playing in, in nice world and also we play against him. So, you know, uh, as a striker you, you try to confuse the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper is also trying to confuse the striker, so it's, it's a nice uh, battle and that time it was for Albino. Of course, next question is from Sports Kira. Do you feel this is a kind of a result that can shape your season in the direction where you want to go as a team? No. No, I think that the team is working well from the first day, but we need time to arrange things, to get uh, uh, together in the same uh, uh, pattern of play. And, you know, at the starting we miss uh, Dimas, we miss Raul, they were not really fit. Also Christian Brown, they need some more time, but uh, they are they're getting better now. But, you know, Indian football is very emotional, it's very emotional and, you know, you get a good result, later you get a bad result. I, I was uh, happy with the team last week against Northeast. I think that we deserved the three points and it will be, you know, the momentum for that. But now, after concede two points in the last game, it was very important to to get the three points. But you never know what is going to happen with Odisha. It will be a tough game for sure. They need the points. And again, it will be a new battle in, in Indian Super League. Of course, Sunil did not celebrate, but you were quite animated after his goal. How happy were you from for him after the penalty miss? Yeah, because you know, the strikers live about confidence. They, 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 they need to be confident to keep scoring goals. And I'm happy not only for Sunil, eh, also for Christian, for Clayton, eh, that they have been uh, scoring goals. I'm sure that Brown also he will score soon. Eh? He was not playing a lot of minutes because he has little muscle problems, but he will help the team also as a striker. And, and we want to be an offensive team, we want to create chances. And I think it was quite quite numerous the times that we arrived to the other box uh, today. 
course last question from a and i does the team seem to have found this rhythm you have always spoken about since this short pre season yeah i think it's affecting all the teams right? the short pre season but we we are not uh, putting excuses about that we understand and you can see the level of the games eh? it's it's not the same that we are used in indian super league but every team is doing their best they are trying to get the the players healthy and ready for the competition and i think that we are going uh, to to see very good shows uh, in the next weeks and i think that today it was a very good show thank you coach and good luck for the next game thank you